This is just an update for the project that I'm working on. This is the 68020 homebrew computer that I'm building. Uh, the 020 processor is right here. I have a 32K uh, UV erasable EEPROM here. Uh, 32K RAM. I have a 50 megahertz crystal, which is getting divided by four to put out 12.5. Uh, all the glue logic is, is uh, all the glue logic for this board is inside of this uh, CPLD. It's a Xilinx XC95108. Uh, this is a multifunction peripheral. It's a 68901. It's a Motorola part. I'm using that for the uh, for the UART. Uh, I have the crystal and some trimmer capacitors over here for adjusting the clock. And as it was a little bit picky with this crystal because the uh, series resistance was not correct for it. And this is just a hex inverter uh, for dealing with the RS-232. I have uh, just an FTDI breakout board over here, plugged into my MacBook. Uh, go ahead and fire up um, if my phone will focus here. Uh, go ahead and fire up my uh, terminal here. So when I go ahead and plug this thing in, it's going to boot pretty fast. The, the current ROM monitor on here uh, that I'm working on, it's on my GitHub. Currently, all it does is uh, initializes the MFP and checks the first 1K of RAM for errors. Uh, checks each, uh, each address. And then it probes the memory from that point forward to find out how much RAM is on there. So currently, there's 32K. So I'll go ahead and plug this in, and it should boot up pretty fast. All right, here goes. Plugging it in right now. That's pretty much it. So the ROM monitor code is on my GitHub. Uh, there's not much to it right now. I will uh, update the code, though, uh, to allow for uh, looking at memory address locations, uh, registers, as well as uh, running code that can be uh, pushed via serial. Uh, the goal is ultimately, uh, once I get additional RAM in here, to try to get uh, UC Linux or maybe even full-blown Linux to run on it once I get the uh, MMU hooked into the board as well. That'll probably be a different revision of the board since uh, doing everything uh, via wire wrap like this uh, didn't leave me much room on this particular board for adding the MMU. So I will probably print up an actual PCB now that I know that the uh, processor is in good shape. Alright, thanks for watching.